there, gorgeous soul. Welcome to your September monthly astrology. It is action packed and it's full of cosmic opportunities to transform and to fling ourselves forward towards our destiny. Okay, Mercury is retrograde, going retro shadow from the fifth. And actually, by the end of the month, we have seven planets going retrograde. So there's more work to do from the past and to heal our wounds. But these amazing opportunities to discover not only how to transform our present, but how to reach our future goals. Amazing. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey, Aquarius, you are the freedom lover. You love to go forward, to explore, to be excited by life, to come up with new ideas. And yet you also love to feel at one with humanity. You understand that everybody's equal, but you also respect and appreciate the fact that we're all a unique soul. And this month gives you lots of opportunity to adventure, to explore and to get back out there in the world. Perhaps you've been feeling a little penned in. We've had a tough two years, let's, let's face it, but you're like now, hmm, you're starting to see a deeper perspective. You're starting to think about not only coming into your power, but enjoying yourself, which is great news. There's been so much going on with you. And don't forget, we have Saturn in Aquarius still. So you've had a lot of responsibilities and a lot of kind of thinking about what you want to commit to, maybe being forced into situations where you had to do things or you were made to do things. And now it's a chance to open up a little bit. Although a lot of this month does talk to you about where you are in terms of feeling powerful or powerless and are you hanging out with the right people that inspire you or are you mixing with people that you have a funny relationship with either you're obsessed with them or you feel that they're overshadowing overshadowing you in some way all of that has the opportunity to change this month on the third there's amazing energy going on and it's encouraging you to open up to explore and to remember your creative spirit, remember who you are, the freedom lover, the one that thinks outside the box, the genius, the inventor. And there'll be some kind of message for you about it's through that, it's through not only your visionariness, but turning your visions into practical reality that are one of the answers for you to feel truly free. Also, you might be committing, thanks to Mercury, trying Saturn, to exploring or traveling or learning something new, which even if it is just studying, it gives you this sense of freedom. It opens you up. It opens your mind up. The new moon in Virgo on the 7th of September can be a little bit challenging. You're feeling again like, who am I? Am I powerful or powerless? Do you listen to your desires? Are you overtaken by your desires? How are your primal emotions at the moment? Now is a chance to let go of stuff that was imprisoning you, your fears, your, your wounds in childhood, all of the things that you maybe felt bogged down with in the past um, year. You're able to move on to the next stage and step into your power in some way. Obviously, I'm not saying that glibly. Hopefully you're getting support. Maybe it's a good time to start therapy, but you're committing to yourself. Venus, the planet of love on September the 10th is going into a position for you where you have more abundance when it comes to your career. You might be falling in love again with a job or falling in love with something you want to do and giving yourself the push to get out there and do it. Mars is making you really adventurous around the 15th and excitable, potentially a little bit reckless, but certainly your, your heart is wide open to what you can experience that's unusual or different. And that's the stuff that's going to feed you this month, doing things that are not, you, know, you, you don't want routine this month. You want freedom of spirit. You want to explore. You want to play. You want to love and you want to laugh. The full moon, however, is shining her moonlight on your security. How emotionally secure do you feel? Have you got all the foundations you need around you? when it comes to finance and money, to be able to have more freedom. If not, the full moon might give you a brilliant idea, a synchronicity, a sign, a message, a dream, or just an intuitive poof, sudden realization. So that's the 20th, pay attention to that. Now, a big day of this month 
is when we have the Grand Air Trine. Super fabulous and powerful because it delivers a message to us. And on the same day, we have the Sun, which is our confidence, our life force, trining the North Node, which is about our destiny and our future. So for you, it's saying one of the ways for you to move forward now is to find pleasure and creativity in your life again and love. Have you lost sight of that? Have you been a bit sort of bogged down with all the terrible things that have been going on in the world? It's saying open up to your pleasure, your creativity, your sense of adventure, your sense of wanting to travel, whether that's traveling through learning or traveling literally your heart is opening up to different possibilities. And because it's a grand air trine, it gives us a solution. So if you felt like, well, I can't do anything, it's not possible. You'll find the solution. Something will come to you, a conversation, an experience, a knowing. Okay, Mercury goes retrograde on the 27th, and that makes six planets retrograde. So there may be some stuff, some work to do from the past. But I always see that there's also treasure. Is there something you've left behind in the past? Was there somewhere you wanted to travel to? Was there a time when you were wild and free? How can you incorporate that way of being into your life now? There's incredible adventures for you this month. Incredible opportunities to grow, to laugh and to have pleasure. I do hope you take them. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to come visit me on Instagram at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L, and on Facebook where I do lots of lives and you may even get a live tarot reading from me individually, Michelle Knight Astrologer, and of course my website, michelleknight.com, if you want a reading with one of my fabulous psychics. So much love to you.